Alrighty Hosses, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a navigation bar and a navigation bar is that main menu bar at the top of the screen that is you know essentially the main navigation for your entire website and as you notice I took out that container class because up to now that container class has been the main parent element but what we're going to do whenever we make a navigation bar is actually stick it inside a nav class so it's kind of different but I'll show you guys how it works so in order to make it make a nav tag and the class for this is navbar navbar default so this first one just says that we're making a navigation bar and the second one is the styling of it in other words the color but I'll show you guys how you can style it or give it a different color in just a second now inside here again like I said this is where we're going to be putting our container and I'm going to make a fluid container because I want this navigation bar to take up the entire width of the screen and that's kind of standard for navigation bars usually you don't want them you know just centered in the screen with a bunch of space to the left or right so the class equals container fluid alright now before you start adding the actual menu item buttons what a lot of people like to do is they like to add their logo at the top left just to I don't know kinda of help brand the website so I'll just add a little comment might be a little bit easier to read and if you decide to do this the div class is navbar header and that just lets bootstrap know that this isn't an actual button for you know the menu that they're going to be clicking a lot this is essentially just the logo and you can actually let me just add a dead link so you could link it to like the home page or something but I'm just gonna have a dead link for right now and the class for this is navbar brand and I would just say uh, I don't know the new Boston all in caps so again this lets bootstrap know that it's not part of the main um, it's not like a regular generic menu item it's a something special the header and this right here gives it the styling so the styling is gonna make it stand out it it gives it like a little bold and I think it changes the color slightly so there you go this is an optional logo so now we can start adding the actual menu item button so let me copy this menu items and these are going to be your individual pages or different sections of the website now we're going to stick these inside a div and inside this div we're going to have an unordered list now of course we're going to be putting all of our list items in here but before we get to that the class of the unordered list is nav navbar nav there's a lot of redundant you know um, naming conventions in bootstrap that's one thing I don't like but you know what am I gonna do about it nothing so I'm just shut up <laughs> alright so inside here of course we need list items and you know how sometimes when you click a menu item and the page you're on it stays um like highlighted and that's just a little indicator of okay this is the current page that you have selected if you ever wanna achieve that effect then you change the class to active and again this is just gonna highlight the button that says okay this is the page you're on and uh, I don't know it's just a little bit more clear for the user now inside here you're gonna wanna link to some page whatever it is I'll let you worry about that and see freaking autocorrect so this is a generic one and let me add a couple more just so it doesn't look too lonely now of course these two you don't want to be active you only want to have one item active at a time and that's because the user can't be on you know multiple different pages at a time so I'll say that this one is about and this one is contact alright so do I got anything wrong hopefully not let's run it and see how it looks so this right here this is what I was talking about the logo which is technically called the navbar header and since we applied that class navbar brand that's why you see it's kinda of bold and the text is a little bit different than this and also whenever I said that this first menu item was active that's why we got that highlighting 
and you know it's so of course this would mean that I'm on the home page and it's just a little indicator for the user it makes it you know easier to understand now if I shrink these check out what happens so since this is responsive instead of just cutting off the menu items they actually collapse so you never lose any of your items now I'm gonna be showing you guys in a second um, let's say that you had like seven different items well whenever you collapse it and are looking at it on a phone that means that most of your screen would just be a menu bar and you have to scroll way down for the content so I'm gonna show you guys how to add a button really easily and then you can click it and it can toggle this menu visible and invisible or hidden and not hidden display not display whatever you want to call it 